You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. Today is Wednesday, November 2nd, 2016, Cycle Day 1. I'm Ryan Schindler. And I'm Alex Raymond. Let's get started. The Four Club is selling Bonton coupon books for $5. These coupons are good on many items and the book will quickly pay for itself. The shopping event is Wednesday through Saturday, November 9th through the 12th. Please see a Four Club member or Mrs. Steger to purchase your coupon book. Boys Basketball Open Gyms will be held tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the high school gym. Check the sign outside Coach Eister's room for future workouts. Book Club members, we are meeting this Friday, November 4th at 7 a.m. to discuss our latest read, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Please come prepared to discuss, discuss the book and offer suggestions for our next book. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Newcomb. Any jazz music students or any students interested in the jazz program should stop by the music office area to sign up for the field trip to Moravian College for a day-long ba big band <laughs> clinic put on by top professionals. The trip will be Thursday, November 17th. Cost $10 per student, plus your own food cost. Please see Mr. Howe for more details. We know that you're ready to find out the results of the mock election held by Charles Oberdick. Charles, what were the election results? Well, first off, I'd like to thank everyone for their support and all the volunteers that helped out with the event. It was a smashing success. Our turnout was 59% of the student vote, which is higher than the 2012 presidential election. With the actual results, the Republican Party swept with Donald Trump winning the presidency, Pat Toomey winning the Senate race, and the House race going to Scott Perry. Going closer to the demographics, upperclassmen supported Hillary Clinton, while lowerclassmen supported Donald Trump and the men and women vote, women supported Clinton by a shorter margin, closer to 52%, compared to men who supported Donald Trump by 54%. I'd like to thank everyone again, and we'll see what happens with the actual election. Guys, there were no sports that took place yesterday, and there are none on the schedule for today either. Come to room 416 for a brief meeting today after school from 1 to 115 for the National Art Honor Society. Applications will be available, and check your Schoology account for more details. Now it's time for lunch. Today's lunch is calzone with marinara sauce. Sandwich of the day is chicken patty or Italian sub and there will be Meat Lover's Pizza in the pizza line. For tomorrow's breakfast, we're having breakfast sandwich or a wrap, and tomorrow's lunch is spaghetti meatballs with Texas toast. <coughs> sandwich of the day is pub burger with fixins or tuna chicken salad, and there will be barbecue and buffalo chicken pizza in the pizza line. That's it for lunch, but before we take it to weather, let's take a look at another new teacher here at our building. Tyler Funk has our report. Technology is rising. Business is created because of it. The 21st century is all about technology, and Mrs. Smith knows a bit about it too. Um, I have a really good base knowledge, I would say. Um, I'm not as advanced as like Mr. Weikert, but um, I do have a pretty good base knowledge about programs and how to use them and some technology stuff. I've never actually taken apart a computer and seen how it works. The only thing I've ever done in terms of that is taken them apart to clean them. Not only does she like technology, but so does some of her family. I do not have children, however, I have two nephews who are two and six, and they both have iPads and both love playing around with technology and stuff like that. She's into learning more about computers, too. If I were to pick one aspect of computers that I'd really like to learn more about, I really like different programs that are coming up in different ways that I can incorporate those in my class, but also that my students will be able to take that knowledge and actually use it in real life applications. Teaching about computers wasn't her main goal, but she still loves being involved with computers and teaching here. I originally went to school for 
business management with a minor in international business. So that is my real passion in the business department. But I do really like working with computers and obviously I think that that's where the world not only is at, but it's just going to keep growing. So I think that uh, you either need to get on the ship or you're going to be left. So She's been to other spots in the U.S., but wanted to pursue teaching in one specific state. So I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I was teaching in North Dakota, and I wanted to get back to Pennsylvania. So I applied all over the state, and then I ended up at Northeastern, and I've loved it. Teaching at Northeastern is different from where she was before. Yes, it's a, it's obviously a lot different than in North Dakota. In North Dakota, um, 7 through 12, we only had 22 kids. So uh, I, have a, I have 25 kids in each one of my classes, so I have more kids in each class than we have in the whole school. So I would love to know every student and teacher and stuff, but it just it's going to take a little time. But yes, I'm excited. Tyler Funk, reporting for High Street Media. All right, guys, take a look at the weather right now. It's about 41 degrees out with a humidity of 100%, but we don't have uh, any <coughs> wind blowing, so don't have that wind chill factor. So going in the five-day forecast, this week's going to be a pretty warm week. You know, I thought Sunday we'd start going back down to the 40s, but nope, staying steady in the 50s, 60s range. And today and tomorrow, low 70s. But again, tomorrow, now there's even an 80 higher, there's a higher chance of rain tomorrow 80 percent so 80 percent chance for rain wind whatever you want but yep that's it for here now back to the desk well that's it from us remember go to nhsbobcats.org to see all the announcements because there's a lot of them that you did not see from all of us here at high street morning news go cubbies stay classy northeastern <laughs> <laughs>